Good afternoon, dear friends, and welcome to this Holy Mass of Our Lady of Sorrow, the Memorial of Our Lady of Sorrow. In this Mass, we pray for all those who are bearing some form or some kind of sorrows, some anguish, some anxieties, that they may feel the care and love and presence of our Blessed Mother. Also, want to pray for those who have plans in their lives and are worried about the outcome of their efforts if they will bring them the fruit they are working for. That they may feel the guidance and lead of our Blessed Mother. Pray for those who are sick. Pray for those who live alone. Pray for those who have lost loved ones. Pray and ask that God may bring them comfort through our Blessed Mother. Also pray for those who have birthdays or anniversaries. This today or this month, that God may grant them many more years to celebrate. And I invite you to bring your intentions that we may pray together to God. I still offer this Mass for our men and women who wear our nation's uniform, especially those in harm's way, that God may protect them and keep them safe. Our opening hymn will be Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. Immaculate Mary, thy praises we sing. Who reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, ave, ave Maria. Ave, ave Maria. In heaven the blessed thy glory proclaim. On earth we thy children invoke your fanim. Ave, ave, ave Maria. Ave, ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit to prepare ourselves dear friends for this mass let us call to mind our sins and ask god's mercy and forgiveness you were sent to heal the contrite lord have mercy lord have mercy you came to call sinners to repentance christ have mercy christ have mercy you plead for us at the right hand of the father lord have mercy lord have mercy may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, Lord God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you will honor the Holy One. You will honor the Lord. You will honor the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God who willed that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close, and, close by and share his suffering, grant that your church participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may Mary the share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is a reading from the letter of Saint, the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son, though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, 
He became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the song is, Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Make haste to deliver me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead me and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare that is set before me. For you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary. Without dying, you won the martyr's crown beneath the cross of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus, we are his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to his disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, oh, sorrow is, I think it's part of every human life. Sorrow, um, by definition, is the sadness we feel, the anguish, the horror, the fear, the anxiety, the pain. Now call it whatever name, but the sense of disaffection, dissatisfaction, sense of unhappiness, a sense of brokenness, and it could come from any source. But there is what you might, an overwhelming sense of feeling of sadness or grief, often coming from the loss of something or the loss of someone that you care about, or a deprivation, you know, that you wish you had, something you wish you had and you deprived of. But that is a very common feeling that we experience every day. Some experience what you might call clinical sorrow, or um, you, might, you might call um, bouts of sorrow, or long form of sorrow, depending on how well they're able to handle whatever caused the sorrow and the pain. Now, unprocessed sorrow or sadness or grief could take a spiral, you know, right down for some into other forms of emotional imbalances. Could be you become depressed, you begin to carry um, some form of clinical anxiety. We carry all of this. Now we don't have to. Not because something bad didn't happen to us. Not because we didn't lose something that is important to us. But because 
there is grace to help us handle all of those experiences, different experiences that could put us down that path. Today we celebrate um, an important day, the memorial or the feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. Here is the mother of God who herself knew a lot of sorrow. Now think about how her life started with an angel visiting her as a young young lady and saying to her you will be the mother of God and from the moment she accepted that role to be the mother of God her life at every step was sorrow was sadness was pain think about the fact that even the beginning of the life of Jesus they had no place they felt rejected now rejection is painful if you have ever been rejected, you know how that feels. They felt rejected because no one would offer them a place to even have their baby, to, to have the role. They had to have him in, in a manger, in a place where animals were living. So the, the Lord of the world was born amidst animals. That was the first experience of rejection. And then the life of Jesus was at risk and had been in danger. And then they have to leave home. They had to run away, became fugitives, running away from their families, people they knew, people they grew up with, because the child's life was in, in danger. And I'm thinking about the grief and the sorrow they may have felt having to leave home. Now, don't forget, they were living home at the time that is so different than ours. You didn't have cell phones, you didn't have the internet, you didn't have any means of communication. Even letter writing wasn't easy, you could not. So when they left, there's a chance that was the end. They felt this was it. We were never going to meet people, our families again. So, so think about that separation, the grief and the sorrow that comes with separation. Maybe that's you because you've left home, you've left people that you know, you've left a lot of things. There is sorrow, there is grief, being away from people that you care about, people that you know, people you grew up with, and especially when there is no means of communication. So that's what happened here. So you think about people who are in jail, people who, you know, are deployed, people who are in different distant places and don't have the luxury of communicating right, on a timely manner with their loved ones. That's pain, that's sorrow. Then when she returns back after exile, I'll call it, I'll call it exile, you know, um, as a fugitive, as an immigrant in another country, she returns home and doesn't come back home directly because, yeah, there's, there was still risks to the child's life. So, so you realize how her life goes through. Think about when this child is 12. They go to Jerusalem and the child is missing. Think about the anxiety and the sadness and the fear and the horror. So, so she knew all of that. Then ultimately, she experiences a very gruesome, unimaginable torture of her own son. So, so you can understand exactly what life feels like. And it does appear she was a widow at a very young age because the fact that Joseph is nowhere at the last phase of the life of Jesus tells us he may have passed. And so she was a widow and then became a mother with no child. So that was hard. You, you see in this gospel, the Lord knows that he is going to die, but did not want his mother to be without children. And she had to give her the gift of all of his followers, including you and I. So the representative by John, says, your title, Mother of God, will forever remain Mother of God and Mother of the Church because He is going to be the Mother of the Head and also the Body. And what I want to offer you today is that if you are struggling with dealing with, struggling dealing with any sense of sorrow, sadness, grief, pain, whatever it is, Resulting from anything, loss of something that, that matters to you, 
loss of a person, a job, loss of your, your finances, your business, whatever it is that you're dealing with, that you've lost, and causing you grief. There is someone who understands that, and someone who can do something about that. A blessed mother is that person. She can walk you straight to her son, as she did the will, as she did the couple at Kenai and Galilee. She can walk you straight to her son and place that request for you. So I'd like you to go to her. Let her know your struggle. Ask her for your help. Ask her for her help. And leave your request in her hands. I have no doubt that she will not only be with you, she will make sure she finds you help and timely help because she is one whose intercessions never fail. Her son never turns her intercessions down because forever he is the son of the Blessed Mother, the son of Mary. We pray, dear friends, that we may have the same relationship with our mother because she is our mother. Jesus gave him to us. The Lord in this text gave him, gave her to us. She is your mother, she is my mother. And we can go to her and trust that she will take our concerns and communicate them to her son. So I'd like to remind you that you are the delight. You still loved any moment, any day by God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. When Mary came to experience her sorrows, she trusted in God to provide her guide, support, and lead. Let us bring our prayers to our Father through her that she may bring our concerns to her son. For the lowly and humble members of our Holy Church, for the poor, the deprived, for the lonely, for those who are sad, those who are in grief, and those who are possessed with a sense of anxiety for the future, that they may know the care and love of our Blessed Mother. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For respect for the rights and dignity of women, especially women who are poor, uneducated, or older. Pray also for young women who are being exploited around the world, those who are in danger today. That our Blessed Mother may shield them and protect them and bring them to safety. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For women who long to bear children, especially young women who may be pregnant at this time and considering an abortion, that God may intervene through our Blessed Mother and encourage them to keep their children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all unborn infants and for their mothers, that they may feel the care and love of God and trust that God will be with them as they lovingly bring forth their children and raise them up to maturity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of being able to listen to others, especially people that we don't respect or don't like, or may not even care about, but that with the grace of God and touched by grace, we're able to demonstrate love that is communicated through understanding and hearing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask our Blessed Mother's intercession as we say, Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercies, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry for an Israel of Eve, to you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed Father, Jesus. O clement, so loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. 
let us pray. Lord God, you put down the mighty and raise up the poor and humble. Aided by the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we entrust our hopes to you and our confidence you will grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made to become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed I Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruits of the vine and work of the man have become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my beloved sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of his holy church. Amen. Receive, O merciful God, the praise of your name and the prayers and sacrif sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lead them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast of the Blessed, of the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Sorrows, for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of her virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with ears in humble praise as we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, the Lord Jesus took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to the disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, the Lord took the chalice once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. With the second acclamation, let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, o Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring all to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Timothy our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may marry to the co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray in the words our Lord gave us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always, and with your spirit. My dear friends, from me to all of you, may God's peace rest and abide, now and always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Look up, my sisters and brothers, and behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Let only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us ask grace for spiritual communion. Most merciful God, we believe in your presence right here in this Eucharist. We believe in the grace that comes from you to us to meet our every need. For all those who are unable to participate physically, we ask, O oh God, that the same said grace may be granted to them in full measure for every need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we may complete in ourselves for the sake of the, for the, for the, sake of the Church what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and sins of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host. By the power of God, cast into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Before the final blessing, I'd like to take a moment to express my thanks to all of you for joining us at this Mass and for praying with us. I pray and hope that you may feel the care, love, and, and affection from our Blessed Mother, especially as you struggle with whatever issues that are besetting you right now. You forget everything that I said today. For, don't forget this. You are still God's delight, God's beloved. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Through the prayers of our Blessed Mother, may God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
My dear friends, this Mass is ended. We go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. For our closing hymn, we're going to sing the first verse of Hail Mary, Gentle Woman. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and all the hour of our death. Amen. Gentle woman, quiet Lord. Morning star, so strong and bright, gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us Lord.